Could've went to jail or the army Remember when they didn't wanna call me Should've seen a look when they saw me They ain't happy, they just shot Kill Nipsey, they touch pot Can't believe that I made What's good, Dust Nation? So I got fat, peace, love, and prosperity, man. All the above. So, uh, don't don't mind if you hear some noise in the background. I'm literally rendering a video right now as we speak. But I wanted to hop on here real quick and make this video. This just came from my heart, and and I felt like whenever I get these intuitive bursts of downloads or messages, I'd much rather just either write it down or spit it out. <laughs> you feel me? So I'm gonna spit it out for you guys. Um, first things first. So. If you are somebody that has a bad habit, this is the video for you. So this could be a bad habit in terms of anything. You can have a sexual addiction. You can have a lack of self-control when it comes to eating. Um, you could have a bad habit of diminishing others' feelings, having a lack of empathy, um, procrastination, anything on, on any type of level, any type of minuscule level or whatever. Okay, nepot bye guy, okay? So, what I felt in my heart to say today, and I'm not sure who needs this message, is that if you have a bad habit, you lack a certain aspect of self-love. I'm going to explain. What you need to understand is that there are people that do things, and there are people that say that they're going to do things. And so if you love yourself enough, you'll stop the bad habit. I'll give you an example, right? There was a time where I used to procrastinate with everything. I used to say, oh, I should be doing this, or I'm gonna do it later. It, it didn't get to a point where I got so tired and frustrated of that one mishap in my life that I decided to correct that behavior. And so the reason I say this is, is because this is very important. You have a bunch of people in this world that are content with where they are, and then they maybe get some type of inspiration or motivation from an outside source that they see. Maybe they're scrolling down Instagram and they see somebody taking a fly pick or something and that may motivate them. And motivation is great, but it's not enough. And, and this is why when people call me a motivational speaker, I don't like to take on that title because motivation is weak. You can have the motive to do something right now and then something else happens and you're scattered brain like a squirrel and you no longer you know, carry on with that desire. So it's important to understand that the things that you consume via media, whether that's you know the music you listen to, the people that you are around, that you allow to be in your vicinity, uh, even down to the foods that you eat. You know, there's a, there's a certain uh, chemical reaction that happens with certain foods as we get as we digest it that can influence your mood that can influence your cognitive functioning and so all of these things factor into how serious you are about whatever endeavor you have in life now i say all of that to lead up to this if you have bad habits and you want something more for your life you need to stop looking for something outside of yourself and take full accountability all right that's a fact that's exoterism, okay? That's a foreign concept. Exoterism is believing that you have it inside of you. You don't need nobody else to, you know, do something for you, right? And so when you look outside of yourself for something to happen in your life, that is literally insanity because you're giving your power to some outlying source every day and expecting a different result. That is literally insanity, okay? And so there's a reason why we have two hemispheres of the brain. We have the left hemisphere, which has to do with, you know, divine masculine energy, which has to do with logical and critical thinking. And then we have the right hemisphere. The right hemisphere is the feminine uh, side of the brain that has to do with, you know, creativity. This is where you get your in intuitive thoughts. And so notice the importance of the number two. All right. It's because everything in this universe, in this existence is always striving to be in balance, duality aka my yacht and so everything has to be in balance if you are somebody that's constantly you know looking outside of yourself to fix your problems you are unbalanced okay and the reason i say this is because we're influenced by so many different things so my camera actually died so i had to grab a backup camera but back to what i was saying so we're constantly being influenced by all of these different uh sources that we may not be conscious of on a subconscious level that's making us more malleable more suggestible 
actually not serving us, why not take control of your life and influence yourself in a way that's gonna serve you, you know? Something that's actually gonna help you. Non en façon qui be meilleur. All right, so why not do something that's, that's actually gonna help you? And so, as I said, we're constantly being influenced on the subconscious level. And what we have to understand is that there's a part of our brain on the anterior side, the, the anterior lobe, right, which is, you know, in front of us, called the prefrontal cortex. Now, the prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that has to do with learned behavior. And so this is the part of the brain that we do, that we use to learn new things, to do new things. So, for example, if I'm a basketball player and I'm predominantly right-handed and my left hand is trash, but I want to learn how to use my left hand, as I'm building those new neuron pathways, training with my left hand, learning, learning how to dribble with it, how to cross in and out, I'm now using my prefrontal cortex and I'm teaching myself some new behavior, new patterns, okay? I'm teaching myself something. And so as an athlete can teach themselves how to add another facet to their game, you can use this part of your brain to teach yourself new patterns, new behaviors, new habits that are gonna serve you in the long run. And so I'm somebody that's very transparent. I'm very honest with you guys. And I tell you my past failures. I told you just a lot of the, a lot of the things that I've had to overcome. I told you guys how, you know, I'm a first generation Haitian immigrant. I told you how, you know, I had a tough time speaking English. I had, you know, I've, I've dealt with a severe stuttering problem and um, speech impediment my whole life. I used to get teased. Kids would tell me go back to Africa and, and like tease me and all that stuff. And so if you guys don't address your bad habits, whatever it may be, whether, as I said, if it's a, a sex addiction or, or food, whatever, it will control you and it will consume you and you will never live uh, your life to your highest potential and you will never feel fulfilled and uh, you will never find duality, balance and peace, which is things that are all your birthright. You will never find true happiness and prosperity. And so I felt this message as I'm actually working on something else, as I'm you know doing other stuff, I felt I needed to turn on the camera real quick and come talk to whoever needed this message because bad habits is what's keeping a lot of us um, underneath our full potential. And I can tell you right now, I've dealt with some of the worst bad habits. There was, uh, there was a time where, you know, I dealt with, with sex addiction. Uh, there was a time where I, you know, I had a, a habit of doubting myself because of my speech. I couldn't, I couldn't articulate myself and I stuttered so bad. And even up until college, I remember, for example, I started my YouTube channel about four years ago and I remember about a year or two ago, I had a potential opportunity to work with a company and I had such, uh, let me rephrase that. I had an opportunity to work with a major multi-million dollar company. Um, they were willing to fly me out to Cali to film on their, to film in their studio. And I remember, you know, I was still working on myself and working on my mind. Well, actually not, I wasn't working on my, on my mind as, as much as I should. This. Uh, particular instance is what made me take my mind more serious <laughs> uh, and they had offered me the opportunity and they they had uh, wanted to get on a conference call with me and on the conference call due to all of my past limiting beliefs and all my past experiences of, of not being able to speak English well and just I got overthrown with so much self-doubt pity and emotion from my past from my childhood that on this conference call I was stuttering I was like I just, I just wasn't comfortable. I wasn't in my divine frame. And you know, because I wasn't uh, comfortable, I wasn't confident, I, I was stammering, stuttering, I messed that opportunity up and they ended up not calling me. And consequently, you know, after that, that's when I really started taking my mindset serious. I started actually uh, meditating and uh, training my subconscious mind and uh, using affirmations, using other tactics. Um, putting myself out there, giving speeches in front of hundreds of people, consulting people, going harder on YouTube and just really destroying that little piece of me that had that belief. And I rewired my mind, created new neuron pathways, created new habits of how I carried myself as an individual, as a man, as an entity. And now, 
you know, I'm proud to say I have numerous offers that I turn down or sometimes I partner, but it's not even about that. It's about creating that new learned behavior using your prefrontal cortex. Um, retraining your, your subconscious mind to reflect a lifestyle that you feel that you deserve and you want. Uh, destroying those bad habits and creating a life for yourself that is the best. You feel me? Like in my language, you know, we say, Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Because if your head is not in a place that it needs to be in order for you to manifest your goals and, and desires, you're never going to reach that desired uh, point that you want to go. And so I wanted to get this message out real quick for anybody that wanted that just felt that they needed to hear this and that has been struggling with bad habits. Um, this is a message for you and I pray that this message resonates with you, it finds you, it uh, helps you, it en enables you to live a life that is the most fulfilling, abundant, prosperous, uh, happiness, uh, all the above. And so with that family, um, you know, I love you guys. I send you guys such good energy. Make sure to stop by DudleyDuds.com, get you some merch, you feel me? And uh, I love you guys. Peace. Thank you.